And now to the part of the newscast I know I have been dreading, and many of us here at WDSU, the part where we say goodbye to our beloved friend Norman Robinson. If you don't know by now, this is his last newscast before Norman, you begin your well deserved retirement. And Norman, of course, has been coming into your homes every single night, delivering the news, joining you at the dinner table. He's been doing this since 1976 when he started on TV in New Orleans. Since then, he's had a long and a very successful career, even leaving the Crescent City for a while. You may recall to work as a White House correspondent, but like New Orleans can do, the Crescent City pulled him back. And Norman came to WDSU 24 years ago. Now, Norman's 10 o'clock co anchor, Scott Walker, joins us now with a look back at Norman's distinguished career. Happy to be here doing yeah. this with you. It's Thank you, pleasure. my friend. Norman Robinson has been there, done that. Many say it, but few can truly back it up. Though it sure seems like he's been here all his life. Like many journalists, Norman bounced around the country before ultimately finding a home in New Orleans. He worked in California, Alabama, New York, and Washington, D.C. But New Orleans is where Norman left his heart and a legacy. Norman Robinson arrived in New Orleans in 1976, first working at WVUE with the likes of Alec Gifford and Buddy Deliberto. A few years later, he joined WWL and in 1982 covered one of the decade's biggest stories, the Pan Am Flight 759 disaster in Kenner. The crash killed all 145 on board and eight more on the ground. The first to arrive on a horrific scene, Norman calmly reported the devastating news. Norman took a brief hiatus from local news in 1988, accepting a Neiman Fellowship at Harvard University. Then, a year later, joining the White House beat, reporting for the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. Norman Robinson, CBS News, the White House. In 1990, Norman was back in New Orleans and at WDSU. He has reported the news here for 36 years and has done it from the WDSU newsroom for the last 24, nearly a quarter century at one station. Anchoring the news, a remarkable stretch in local broadcasting. Anyone who can last in journalism, and particularly last at or near the top, as Norman has done, uh, is deserving of salute. Joe Duke, a former news director at WWL TV and longtime friend of Norman's, is willing to offer plenty of salutes. Norman is a guy who, at every level of the business, he, he, he just personified what the city thinks about a journalist. Duke worked with Norman at Channel 4, where Norman was his assistant news director, and at Channel 8. Duke and Robinson have been around the block together a few times. We started off as colleagues. I covered many stories as his cameraman, and we were very close. Um, and then we were competitors, and we were fierce competitors. And they reminded each other of it often. If we, if we had a good day and he had a bad day, I would call him and you know, give him grief, and, vice, and he would do the same. He would literally call a competitor when we got a scoop, when we were first on the scene, and he'd give him a little yan yan. WDSU Chief Meteorologist Emeritus Dan Milham remembers working with a competitive news anchor who knew how to connect with both viewers and those he had to ask tough questions. Norman has always had a, uh, a nice, to me, a nice balance between uh, being friendly personable, knowing when to put on the smile and just be nice, and when to get down to the, to the facts. One of those times was 1991, during a memorable gubernatorial debate televised on WDSU. Norman went head-to-head -head with David Duke, grilling the former Ku Klux Klan Grand Wizard about his beliefs. So we're talking about political, economic genocide. We're not talking about intolerance. We're not talking about spitting on people, sir. As a newfound Christian, a born again, are you here willing now to apologize to the people, the minorities of this state whom you have so dastardly insulted, sir? That debate stands out for former investigative reporter Richard Angelico, who worked at WDSU for 40 years. You took a lot of flack for that, but it was the right thing to do, and, uh, and I, for one, uh, respected you for it, liked it, thought it was Great. Another longtime colleague, former anchor Chris Fairbairn, teamed up with Norman during two stints at WDSU, and the duo shared a special on air chemistry. We were friends, um, and we knew each other well. We could read each other well. We kind of knew when one was going to talk and when one wasn't. Um, we helped each other. We had each other's backs. Through changes to the city, to the station, and to life in general, 
Norman has been a constant, a comfortable and reliable presence, guiding viewers through tragedy and triumph, pain and progress. When I opened the door and I saw what was left of my house. In 2005, Norman lost his home in New Orleans East to Hurricane Katrina. But despite his personal losses, he, along with the rest of the staff at WDSU, carried on, did their job. And that is part of Norman's lasting legacy. He did his job. Whether it was grilling public officials on his award-winning hot seat, calling leadership into question after Hurricane Katrina, Mr. Mayor, why won't you answer any questions? Covering the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, anchoring hours of Mardi Gras coverage, or solidly and professionally anchoring a newscast, Norman always did his job. And he did it better than most. If, if you were a newsmaker, you could trust that he was, he was going to get the facts right? And he was going to be accurate. He was going to give you, he was going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Norman is the quintessential gentleman. He is loyal and hardworking, great work ethic. I love this guy. I, I think, I think New Orleans has been lucky to have him. So Norman, congratulations on all that you've achieved, and Semper Fi, also. Semper Fi. The motto of the United States Marine Corps, Latin for always faithful, a phrase that personifies who and what Norman Robinson is. The faithful co-worker, veteran, friend, son, father, and grandfather. He's just a genuine, great human being. You know, I wish him the best. Best of luck to you, my friend. Love you. I'll miss Norman Robinson on the air. Uh, it's, it hasn't been that way in a long time. Quite a career, and I will miss Norman Robinson as well. And I said this earlier, I grew up watching you, and I mean that, I mean that in the nicest way possible, <laughs> um, because that made it all the more special when a couple of years ago we started to anchor the 10 o'clock newscast together, and we got to do that for a while, and I will certainly miss you and wish you the very best in whatever you decide to do next. Thank you, Ed Dog. Give me a, give me a big hug. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> you know you've made Good your luck. mark here, Norman. Thank no you. doubt about Thank it. You. And the mark that Norman made as well beyond the anchor desk. Coming up next, we'll have a look at his lasting impact on the community. Don't go away.